If you kind of begin by giving an overview of yourself. So Eat With Me is a dramedy, and it's about, it's a coming of age film really for baby boomers and Gen X. David doesn't like saying that, but that's how I see it. <laughs> and it's, um, it's really about a mother who's trying to find herself and reconnect with her son, but they don't know how to communicate. And so they use cooking and eating together as their common language. What inspired you? I'm to spoil it all. Once I... One, David, who's the writer-director, is a really, really I mean, good friend of mine. So, of course, he asked me, and whatever he asked me, I'll, I'll do. But the other reason is because I've always been a, a big advocate for social justice issues. But I believe in educating people by not hitting them over the head, but by entertaining them and getting them to start thinking about issues they may not have thought of before. And so this film is an LGBT film, and it's really to get people, especially in older generations that might be a little bit more conservative, to see, see things in a different light and just to start experiencing people whom they may not normally have interactions with, like LGBT individuals, and just get, get them to understand they're normal people just like them. It was different or new for you or just something? Um, it was definitely been an incredible learning experience. It's like film school, all wrapped up in one, uh, and it's been a lot of work. But at the same time, I think, I know for both David and I, we've both really grown throughout this process and really, I think, discovered not just what our voice is, but also what's important to us in filmmaking. So I, it's been an incredible experience. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. I have a couple in the pipeline um, that are all that deal with either Asian American or LGBT issues. Is there anything you want to add? So you've never dated big girls. Wait, 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 wait. Over that, just to <laughs> no, I thought you were going to go with like um, hard headed. I think at the end of the day, I want people to be able to walk away and really think about, I guess the message is, is it's okay to be you, and it's okay for you to accept other people just where they are and who they are, and that love is, you can love your child, you can love your mother, right, just the way they are, and you'll find a middle ground, and it's okay, it's, like, it's a process, it's okay. So this is the first time I've uh, been a part of the LA Film Festival, and so far I have to say it's been amazing. I mean, they're so supportive of filmmakers. They are incredible about developing the filmmakers and building our networks, and so I, it, this was like the best place for us to start because it's really been so welcoming and so supportive and nurturing.